Today on Review This Thing, we're gonna pattern test this Winchester SXP with the Indian Creek Choke. Hey, this is Robbie with Review This Thing, and today we're gonna take this Winchester SXP Longbeard 20 gauge and pair it with an Indian Creek 555 Constriction Turkey Choke. If you've been wondering where you can get that Indian Creek Choke, head over to MidwestTurkeyCall.com. They have turkey chokes and tons of other turkey hunting supplies. And we top this shotgun with the Williams Gunsight LRS. It's brand new, they just came out with it this year. All the loads that we're gonna be testing today are number nine shot at 40 yards. First up in our testing is newcomer Foxtrot. These are the 20 gauge crusher loads. That one looks like it might've shot a little bit low out of this gun, but it looks like a really, really tight batter. And that really is a pretty dense pattern down here in that lower left-hand corner. If we were gonna hunt with this load, we'd wanna move it up. And for the Foxtrot, in a six inch circle, we've got 109 pellets, and a 10 inch circle, we've got 310. I don't know how the other ones will perform, but anytime we can get over 300 in a 10 inch circle, we're really pleased. So you guys saw that one shot low. So we actually did go ahead and move it up a little bit. Next up is Verdict. Looks like it's still shooting just a little bit left, but the up and down looks better for sure. Looks like we need to bring it just a little bit right also. Because there's definitely some pattern off to the left of the target right there, but looks like a pretty dense pattern there. Verdict did really well out of that Indian Creek choke. In the six inch circle, we have 234 pellets. And in a 10 inch circle, we have 378. That tension close in on 400. Those first couple shots proved that even with a shotgun, we were sighted in with this, changed the choke, and we had to change the sighting in just a little bit. So next up is Pendleton ammunition. Let's go see the target. So it does look a lot better left and right. Could come up a little bit to have the majority of the shot in the turkey's head, but that's a really good dense pattern. Very few flyers around, it looks like. The Pendleton load still shot low, but in that six inch circle, we have 158, and in a 10 inch circle, we have 267. One thing that we've noticed with these Pendleton loads is it may not be the highest number of pellet count in that 10 inch circle, but it's, it always seems to be very consistent across the pattern, which gives you a little bit more leeway should that turkey move his head when you're getting ready to shoot. And now the Fiocchi Golden Turkey. This is pretty much the only factory load that's been able to hang with any of these other loads. Oh yeah, that looks like a good pattern as well. That one looks pretty good. We've got a few flyers off to the right of the target and looks like if we were going to sight in for this one, we would actually need to probably bring it back just a little bit left, but looks pretty good. So for a factory load, this is really impressive. The Fiocchi came in at the six inch circle at 173 and really close to 300 pellets in that 10 inch circle with 291. This is Viper ammunition. You've seen it in a lot of our videos from last year and already some in this year. Let's see what it does out of this Indian Creek choke. That's a target full of white right there. They've all been hitting a little bit low, so I aimed just a little bit higher on that one and it really looks good on the target. So I did change my aim point just a little bit on that one, but wow, that's exactly what you wanna see on one of those splatter targets. The Viper load in a six inch circle put 192 and in the 10 inch circle, once again, over 300 at 311. We've got two more loads left Next to last in this test is Apex. Let's see what they do with the Indian Creek choke. Oh, wow. That turkey's head looks pretty much obliterated. That looks really good from 40 yards. Tight pattern all on that turkey's head. That Apex load came in in a six inch circle with 196 and a 10 inch circle with 332. And the last load in our test today is Rogue Ammunition. These did really well 
out of the stock choke. It'll be interesting to see what they do out of this choke. Looks like it may have hit just a little bit right. I don't know. We'll see. Oh yeah, that one looks really good. Interesting, you can see right there in the very middle, right there, pretty much put a bunch of pellets right through there and blew a good hole in the target. But the rogue ammunition coming in strong right here at the end of the test. In the six inch circle, we got 236. And in a 10 inch circle, 382. Once again, inching in on that 400 mark. The crazy part about this test is five out of those seven loads were over 300 pellets in a 10 inch circle with two of them coming in really close to 400 pellets. It seems as though as that choke with that gun could be a really deadly combination. Once again, if you're looking for that choke or almost anything turkey hunting related, head over to MidwestTurkeyCall.com and they've got you covered. Stay tuned for more videos with this gun. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of them. And thanks again for watching. See you on the next one. Hey, thanks for watching our pattern tested video with the Winchester SXB and the Indian Creek Choke. Head over to ReviewThisThingTV.com and subscribe for our weekly newsletter. Make sure you check us out on social media, including Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Go Wild, and don't forget our holler store also.